Okay, I'm here today having a look at what I'm going to just refer to as RP's lawn. This is a lawn that um, for years had been a, a really beautiful zoysia lawn for reasons that are not fully understood right now by the homeowner. <clears throat> it's suffered severe decline. We're looking at a uh, a portion here that has been in a good bit of shade in the last two to three years. Um, not so much this year. This area was sodded recently uh, and has again died back. So we're going to do some soil testing here. We're going to pull cores from all of these these marginal areas, these weak areas. Um, <clears throat> the plan is to try to discover what the what ele what elements what nutrients are deficient in uh, the fertilizer program that the homeowner has been implementing himself. Um, a couple of weak areas here, one here that we're not that's kind of puzzled the homeowner. Um, This was zoysia and has died back for no apparent reason. There's a small a little patch here where it looks like there was some overspray on some yellow nut sedge. But he says that that was not the case in this larger area, so we're not sure. So then they're going, we got another large oak tree here that's casting a shade pattern. It seems to be favoring the fescue. This was this fescue was planted in the spring, seeded in the spring. A little zoysia sod was laid in a few places as well. But um, we're going to collect samples from all of these weak areas and see what the lab might teach us about what's missing here. This is full sun. This is why my suspicion is that the Shade is having the prime is the primary culprit in the front. This is all this has all got a an exposure to the uh, to the west where we're getting um, in the south. I guess where we're getting a lot more sun. And it looks like he's sodded with fescue along the border here, um, and the fescue is doing okay too. Um, customer does a tremendous amount of watering. Um, and this is just, I guess this has declined in the last two or three weeks due to a combination of perhaps heat and underwatering. Maybe there was some disease here, but this needs to be reestablished with the slit seeders. And then uh, the zoysia continues on around, wraps around to here, and then it becomes almost entirely fescue under these large trees. There's no zoysia here at all. Continues on, and, and then it comes over and borders the neighbor's lawn here. Again, fescue is what's being cultured here. And there are a good number of little seedling oak trees starting to emerge here, along with some some wild violet, which is a really difficult broadleaf weed to control. It's a native flower, in fact. So um, We'll draw up a plan uh, for doing some intermittent application work to keep the weeds under control and to come up with a good, a good uh, blend of good blended fertilizer that will suit both the fescue and the zoysia that this lawn will will be composed of. So that's it. We're out.